Well, we're excited to get on the road for uh, Old Dominion and first of many road games here in eight weeks. So, guys had a good week of practice, good focus. It was loud. The speakers work in this place, that's for sure. But, uh, you know, came out of the week pretty healthy. Looking forward to seeing the guys play on the road. And I know it's a big game for them up there. So, anytime you get to play in an environment where there's that kind of buzz, it's, it's a fun experience. Has Alex been able to practice? No, he hasn't. So it'll be a game day deal. I mean, he's obviously practiced for four years, so it's not as big a deal as if he was a young player. But uh, he is getting better every day. And, you know, he's walking around pretty good today. Uh, Monday, you mentioned the South Florida game last year. Yeah. And that kind of sent a tone for you going on the road, obviously with the exception of Clemson. But do you feel like Saturday's trip could do the same for you? Yeah, we'd like it to. Yeah, I mean, we'd like it to. We, we feel like we've proven that we can play well on the road. We've done it repetitively. Played some of our best football, really, on the road last year. So hopefully we can keep that frame of mind where it doesn't matter what's going on around us. We just got to execute and play together. And uh, the team looks like they have that kind of focus. So I'm hoping that we can do the same thing. With Bryce and Andy having an increased role. Yeah, Bryce had a great week of practice. I mean, that's who we have ready to play if Alex can't. And, Bryce is ready. Had a great day today and yesterday, so he'll do a tremendous job if, if that's what we have to do. What's the battle been like this week between Justin Jones and Contavious Street? You know, they split um, in every every uh, practice, regardless of who the one is, they take equal reps because they rotate in the game. And uh, we do that with our nose tackles as well. I mean, you'll see a lot of guys playing. But uh, Contavious has picked up, you know, his energy level for sure. He wants to beat the guys in first, so it's, it's very healthy. Mike Stevens seems has had a good first couple yeah. of games. Yeah, Mike's playing with confidence, and uh, he's grown up a lot. I'm proud of him. He's, he's uh, increased his ability to be consistent because of his approach, and uh, not just up here, but in school, he's doing really well in the classroom, and he's just taking a better approach to things. And you know, I think he was able to being at a small school in high school, maybe get away with more things um, athletically. And whereas here now he understands if he does it right he can make plays consistently and he's done that. Are you do you have super secret Google skills? What do you mean? Jalen was saying you found an Eastern Kentucky player talking trash about NC State last week. Oh I did, yeah. You did? Right. It was in their press conference. <laughs> Google turns off none of this. Well, I listen to their press conference every week, so on the other team. Yeah. And the linebacker was talking trash. Yeah, he said he was going to punch us in the mouth and make uh, us tap out. So oh. I thought our players would like to know that. You know? <laughs> Not very smart on their end. Yeah. But uh, he was the one that got all the penalties on their defense. Oh, so, he did? Yeah. It was the Kansas State kid? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But did you tell that to Jalen specifically? Because you no, know I played he was going to talk team. trash. Or you, you... I played it to the team. And yeah. then we had our scout team talk trash all week to our offense. Oh, you did? Yeah. Oh, okay. So it would, wouldn't be the first time they heard that on the field, you know? Dominion did talk about it in the press conference this week is it's almost like an infomercial for a fertile recruiting area for you guys. Yeah, I mean, I think Tidewater, obviously, it's pretty well documented what kind of players come out of there. And it's not just going there. I think anytime you play a non conference game that you can bust to and, and have your fans and your players' families and everybody be able to drive up and back the same day, it's a good game to have. It's hard, you know, when you got to fly across the country and nobody can go watch the game with you. So, I expect to have quite a few Wolfpack fans there, and, and I know a lot of our players' parents are going to be able to make the trip. In terms of Jalen's or Jay Sam's trash talking, Jacoby said there's like no such thing as saying as talking too much. Is there? Are you on board with that? As long as he scores two touchdowns a game, he can. Jay he, Sam. Yeah, he can. I've mean, never mouth heard and, him say anything. I'm really? Like, the guy's quiet. You know? He's a mute. <laughs> <laughs> He is. But is there such a thing as too much? Or yeah, absolutely. Either? If the refs tell me he's talking too much, then that's okay. too much. I mean, but if he trades in two touchdowns? He needs to back up what he says, but okay. he needs to also understand and respect the game. I mean, that's my whole thing. I want to make sure we respect the game. How much does having this surface help you for games like this? Who? This surface right here, the turf. Well, the outdoor turf is uh, helpful too. I mean, but being able to have two fields like this allows the offense and defense to work a whole field and not feel like you're going to throw it into each other. and. When you're on a you know 40 yard field because the defense is sharing it with you it makes it difficult to throw the ball down the field on either side and it helps your preparation a lot 